This is the Chapter 6B assignment video. Um, the problem states that the mean time it takes to service 45 customers at a drive through fast food restaurant is 125 seconds. Use StatCrunch to find a 98% confidence interval for the mean if the sample standard deviation is known to be 10 seconds. So we have, um, we're looking at building a confidence interval for a mean. So that's key, that it's a mean and not a proportion. Um, here is the mean, 125 seconds, and here's the standard deviation. And this is important as well, that we're building a 98% confidence interval. So our best point estimate here, um, that's our sample mean, our X bar, which was the 125 seconds. That's our best point estimate. So now we are going to um, find the margin of error and construct a confidence interval. So if you remember, um, we were able to find our margin of error simply by following the formula that E is equal to your upper limit of your confidence interval minus your lower limit of your confidence interval divided by two. So what we can do in StatCrunch is find our upper and lower limits in StatCrunch. So let me show you how to do that. We are going to stat, and since this is for a mean, we're going to t-stats. If this had been for a proportion, we would be going to proportion stats. But this is for a mean, so we go to t-stats, one sample, and we have our summary data. In other words, we have the mean and the standard deviation. That, that's the summary data that we need to do the problem. So with summary, um, our sample mean is 125. Um, I think I clicked something wrong. There's two samples here. I might have clicked. Let me start over. Stat, summary stats, I'm sorry, T stats, one sample. Yeah, there we go, with summary. That looks better. So the sample mean is 125. The sample standard deviation was 10. And the sample size is 45 customers. And we jump down here to confidence interval. And remember to change this to 98% and hit compute. And there is the, um, our lower and upper limits here, whoopsie, for the confidence interval. So we can use those. Um, so to get E, we are simply going to take the 128.60, I'm rounding to two decimal places here, minus, that's my upper limit, minus the 121.40 uh, that's my lower limit right here and then we're dividing by 2 so that gives me 3.6 seconds so that's the margin of error so with that we can build our confidence interval which we already have our confidence interval because we know the upper and the lower limit but if you um, want to follow the formula that we use um, when we make a confidence interval, our lower limit is simply the mean minus E, that's our lower limit, and the mean plus E, that is our upper limit. So the mean that we're working with here is the 125 minus 3.6 seconds, that's our lower limit. Then the upper limit is the 125 plus E, plus 3.6 seconds. So if we do the math, 125 minus 3.6 is that lower value, which actually we already had up here. We got it over here from StatCrunch, right? Um, then our upper limit is the 125 plus 3.6. Um, so that's that upper limit, which we already knew. We got that, StatCrunch did that for us. Um, so we would say that we are 95% confident that the true sorry the true mean service time at fast food restaurants is between I'm abbreviating a little bit is between 121.4 seconds and 
128.6 seconds. The next problem is, is the same thing. We're still building a confidence interval here, but we're given the actual data itself, not the summary data. On the first one, we were given the mean and the standard deviation, but here we don't know that. We're going to have to compute that. All we have are these scores. So these are GPAs from 10 randomly selected college students. And so if we, um, I've already entered this over here in StatCrunch. Um, here's all those GPAs of the 12 students. And so to be able to go into StatCrunch and build your confidence interval, we have to have the mean and the standard deviation. So that's real easy. You just go to Stat and Summary Stats columns. Just click on bar one and it's going to compute all those things we need. So there's the mean right here of um, 2.32 and then the sample standard deviation rounding to two decimal places is 1.05. So we got what we need to build our confidence interval. So this is stats, T stats because it's a mean we're talking about averages or means and one sample with our summary data. So the summary data that we got from our the actual data was the 2.32 as the mean and then we got 1.05 for the standard deviation with the sample size being, we'll have to count, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we were told that, 12 students and we're building a confidence interval at a 95% level, and there we go, that's what we need. We got our, our lower and upper limits from our confidence intervals. So um, we have 1.65 is our lower limit, and 2.99 is our upper limit. <clears throat> so what we're gonna say is we are 95% confident that, oops, um, that the true, the true mean GPA of college students is between 1.65 and 2.99. So writing this out made me realize, I think over here, I made a mistake um, right here. So this should be 98% confidence. Coming from the problem up here, where we built a 98% confidence interval. So this is not right. We need to go back and make that 98%. Um, 